protein powders are sometimes promoted as a muscle building food or a food supplement for those wanting to do intensive exercise, building up muscles but not building up the fat. Is there actually any substance behind this? Do these products actually work or is something else going on here? Well, the common powder they use is whey protein. It is basically a byproduct of the cheese production process. With the whey left over, dehydrated, packaged for sale, sometimes with other things added to it. Now despite the name, whey protein actually contains a number of different proteins. Most common of these being beta-lactoglobulin. This generally represents about two-thirds of all of the proteins in the powder. Beta-lactoglobulin has no direct role in any of the human body systems, so the only function that the body can put it to is to burn it for fuel or to convert it into a fat store for later use just like the body would do for, say, things like sugar. Making up around a quarter of the powder is alpha-lactalbumin. As well as being present in cow's milk, it is also a major constituent of human breast milk, though in human milk it's of slightly different form, and as such, the human body does have a direct role for this protein. In humans, the proteins help synthesize milk sugar, or lactose, and it also contains tryptophan and cysteine though in smaller proportions than human milk actually does. Tryptophan is a building block of the serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter relating to stress, sleep, and other normal body functions. Cystine is a building block for taurine, which is used in bile as part of the digestive system, but is also used in many other ways, including developing heart and skeletal muscles. Now, the rest of the protein is made from bovine serum albumin, is similar to the serum albumin found in the human body and is the most abundant protein found in the human bloodstream. Its main role in the blood is to pull water into the blood vessels to maintain its correct pressure within the blood vessel. It's also used to carry things like steroids, fatty acids and hormones around the body. However, the levels of serum albumin in the blood are very important. Either too much or too little can have serious health implications. Along with the proteins, there's actually a small amount of fat and sugar, along with some trace vitamins and minerals within the powders. The precise amount of which varies slightly, depending upon the makeup of the powder, you need to check the ingredients to know exactly what levels are actually present within the particular powder. So, summarising all of these points, you generally have a poor diet, replacing one of your meals based around a protein powder may be a reasonably priced alternative. However, you really want to build muscle and remain healthy, you're far better off eating a healthy, balanced diet and leaving the powder on the shop shelf.